One thing I've been super excited to build in my town is the apiary, which is one of the newer buildings in the Mine Colonies pack. And it basically means that we're going to automatically produce, I'm guessing, honey and honeycomb, right? I, I actually don't know. We're going to explore this together, which is all part of the fun. Uh, so we need a bee nest or beehive, I should say. And for that, we're going to need three honeycomb, which I don't currently have. So our first little thing today is to go on a bit of a bee hunt. So you can see here, I've got some campfires on me. I'm just realizing now I need some shears as well to actually get the honeycomb. And I'm just going to a little fly around. I think I have seen some bees around. Shouldn't be too much difficulty getting them, but I'm really excited to have this one up and running and automate little honey production i suppose in our town well it's been tricky to find uh, but what i've got is got one of these bee nests here which has a bee inside it and then i've got another one here which has no bees in it so it's not overly useful just yet um, but then i've found this right here so we can put down this right here to smoke the bees so they won't get angry when we steal their honeycomb then we can right click and wait did this what wait what why did hold on I feel <laughs> all right hang on uh did it fall down here or something am i being total noob that probably seems quite oh there it is hey there we go I was like, did I do something wrong? I didn't even know. Oh, we got three from it. Okay, I didn't actually know how many we got from that. Okay, we have three. That's literally all I needed. So uh, this will be maybe decorational around the apiary that we're going to build in this episode, right? That'd be cool. Uh, so yes, apiary will be next. I'm going to head home. Uh, I'm a little way from my town. My town's just up here. So like, I'm here. I'm up there. So we're going to head back and then we're going to build the apiary. So back at our town, I think I found a good place for the apiary. Uh, we've got the florist right here. It just sort of makes sense to me that we're going to have the bee farm nearby. Now this is a level five. So at level one, it looks like this. Uh, very modest beginnings, as are all of the buildings, of course, in this game, uh, as it should be. Not not a complaint. Uh, now, that is, so that's the right wire level for sure. I have to say, I really like this at level five, though. Look at that, with all that glass around stuff. It's like a proper apiary. And, you know, I've even got notions of potentially swapping some of this glass out myself. And we can maybe alternate to yellow and black, uh, different glass. But I digress. Anyway, so uh, I think we'll get level one done for now. I think this is a good place for it. I'm just seeing what else is here. So this is like the smeltery, but I think it's far enough away from that. Again, we've got tight streets in certain areas. We know that, but that's okay. It's all part of the town design. So I'm going to tick that right there. Let's go back into survival mode. Now, I actually don't think there's going to be many resources at all needed for this. And, yeah, we're going to build the apiary today, but maybe we'll even upgrade it a few times as well. Uh, build options here, you can see, yeah, really, really not too much at all. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll try and keep upgrading it and we'll perhaps just do a time lapse of the final level. So if I end up going all the way to level five today, you'll just see the level five time lapse rather than like five individual ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The next thing you'll see will be the final time lapse. Then we'll come have a look at the apiary and uh, hopefully see it in action. One of the things we need to make the apiary is another beehive. So we actually need one to make the apiary block and then another one as part of the build. So, oh, here we go. Oh, I was trying to see which one he came out of and I missed it. So <laughs> we've got this makeshift little bee farm right now. I have one bee two hives which is not the best idea let's get rid of one of these hives does he get angry if i get rid of the hive uh i actually don't know you know what? i'm gonna wait um because i you know if a bee gets angry at you in this little space here especially he's gonna sting me and then he's gonna die oh i'm supposed to be watching which one he went into okay <laughs> i got distracted a bit of my chat i think uh anyway so point is this is what we're doing so i'm gonna do this until i got a beehive and then hopefully obviously like all of our future honeycomb needs and stuff like that will be met by the apiary but uh yeah just a little update in case you're doing this yourself make sure you get six honeycomb uh not just three like i did i have to say if you watch my builder here um oh has he just stopped finished oh i think he was building it was all looking so good. Uh, what I was going to say is his levels gone up so much and his stats have increased so much. He is building so, so quickly. You see as he's placing stuff. Look at this. This is so much faster than it used to be, I can assure you guys. And if you're playing this game yourself and you, you've got a, a low-level builder, if you're new to it or whatever, then you'll agree with me. But that's good timing anyway, because there we go. There's the fireworks for the Apiary level one. Beautiful building. And uh, as it develops, it's a really nice one to have in the town, I'd say. So we want to get a worker in, first thing. Uh, let's see, Dexterity is the one, so Harrison's the one. We'll recall him. Now, does he get a cool beekeeping outfit? Because normally they have outfits. Wait, did I recall you? Harrison? Wait, what? Shouldn't you be here? Normally they come instantly when you recall them. Um... Hmm, I do. I want to check something else while, while I'm waiting on him. Uh, so to upgrade it, okay, we actually don't need any more beehives. So I was wondering if that would be a thing or not. As that's not a thing, um, this is all going to be easy to get, right? Maybe the grass we might have to go get, but everything else I think we have. So Richard, upgrade. Let's get that happening straight away. I'm going to try once again to recall Harrison. I, I don't know why there'd be an issue with this. Uh, I'm going to go check the hospital, see if he's in there, figure out the issue, and continue with developing the apiary. Okay, I managed to recall him, and he does have a beekeeping outfit. I absolutely love this. What a legend. Okay, let's see what he needs. So he needs shears. I thought that would be the case. Um, uh, that's it, it seems. Hold on. Where are you going? Uh, I want to see... 
What do you have in your inventory? Nothing. Okay, so we'll also get him some food. In fact, he might be off to the restaurant right now. Perhaps that's where he's going to get some food. He seems to be heading that way. How good is his beekeeping outfit, though? Look at that. That is just amazing. I love this mod so much. Yeah, he's gone to the restaurant. So he's going to fill up on food. Oh, he walked right through. Are you... Okay, maybe not. Well, we're going to get him sorted out. Oh, he's off the bed because it's, it's that time of night. Yeah, we'll sort him out and we'll have the apiary underway. Okay, so Harrison now has everything he needs. He's got a good bit of food. He's got a load of shears. And uh, yeah, now I, I don't know exactly what happens in terms of the bees. And what I mean by that is whether or not he like needs bees here because like this is just an empty beehive right and normally you need bees to produce honey so i don't know if it's just a case of it's simulated and there's no actual bees that are gonna be flying around here or not so we're just going to kind of keep an eye on this together um let's see once that i have to walk a long way to work there are no hives for me to work at okay that's interesting that he said that so in one of these bee nests there is a bee so i'm going to go ahead and put that one up there and I'm going to put this one up here, right? So there's a few beehives around there. Now, hopefully... Oh, there we go. Hopefully, the flowers that are here are going to be enough to keep the bees interested, right? Because obviously, we want to keep them in the area. Now, eventually, as you saw at level 5, this is all enclosed and will not be an issue. Uh, but sometimes it can be at the lower levels. Because although there are flowers here and bees are meant to be attracted to them, uh, if you guys have played with bees before, you'll know this, but they will sometimes run off. So now that we've got a bee down, I just want to see... Um, he's still saying there's no hives. Hmm. <laughs> now, I'm just... Okay, so the bee's gone in somewhere. I'm wondering, like, if it gets to a stage where the bee actually produces the honey, will Harrison then be okay to go and get the honey? We're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to test it out together, guys, and I'll keep you updated along the way. Okay, so one interesting thing I found is if I go onto Harrison here, skip the chat, and go to requests, he's asking for some poppies or flowers of different kinds here uh, from the delivery person, which what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this here. There we go. Um, and then... We're going to see if that does anything. Now, the bee is also over here, and hopefully we'll go into the hive and, you know, like, fill the hive. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's just, I guess, wait and see once more. Um, so, you should now have that request filled. Didn't have time to sleep. Still says there's no hives. But that request... Well, we can cancel that, right? You should, you should have that stuff now. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep an eye on it. I just thought I'd mention that uh, if you're doing this, they might need flowers uh, when you're setting them up. So we'll see if that does anything or not. And I was actually just thinking, he might be asking for those flowers in a uh, hope to breed bees, but uh, he's going to struggle <laughs> because we've only got one bee here at the moment. But that is something else we're going to need to test. So I'm, I'm definitely going to need to find another bee and take that bee in here and, and you know get him around here so we're going to work on that as well this episode but uh for now we're just waiting on this bee to come out i think next time the bee comes out the hive i believe it's the right one where it will be filled with honey and that'll be interesting then to see how harrison reacts when that's the case so the bee's out of the hive and the honey's in the hive and harrison is nowhere to be seen <laughs> so let's recall him Come on, Harry, old boy. There's, uh, there's a lovely hive here for you. Now, I'm just wondering whether it's a case that they're not able to see the bee nests, right? It might be the, the point that, uh, yeah, that could be it, actually. So, you know what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and put that there for a second. And then I want to get rid of you, right? And then I also, uh, let's see, I'm going to borrow some shears off of you, seeing as you've got quite a lot anyway. And we'll shear this just so we don't lose the honeycomb. Uh, and then we'll give you these things back. There we go. I'm going to keep these on me. Get rid of that hive. Right, get rid of that as well. Okay, so now hopefully what will happen next go around. Whoop, Mr. B. Yep, you stay around here, please. Stay with the flowers. Dude, come on. Why? Uh, okay, well, anyway, so what I'm hoping is that he'll fill the beehive. And then I just put this down, actually, where it was before. And then hopefully, uh, yeah, like Harrison will notice and do that. So we're going to do a test take two with the bee hive this time instead of the nest. Okay, so there we go. The bee nest is full of honey. I think it's called a bee hive. Actually, I always mix them up. But anyway, uh, come on, Harrison. This is this is your moment to shine, sir. The uh, the bee hive here. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Where's he going? Uh, I <laughs> I get the sneaking suspicion this isn't going to work. I, I <laughs> he's like run off. Maybe he's scared of bees. We might have an apiarist who's scared of bees. That would be slightly a problem. I. 
don't understand where he's got oh wait actually about six o'clock he heads home to bed um so this is an interesting thing actually uh it's not really related to this but just jobs in general so uh, he does have a request saying that his house is quite far away from the beehive now this will slow down the productivity of your town because basically in fact if i get the map open right here we can zoom in right so this is the apiary right here at the top now his house i'm guessing is over here which couldn't really be much further away right so he's gonna finish work a lot earlier each day to walk all the way back to his house and get there in time to go to bed and similarly each morning it's going to take him a lot longer to get from his house to work so he's going to start later so it will reduce the productivity of your town now i definitely need some houses up this way and that's something i'll work on stuff for now all i'm interested in really is getting the apiary up and running and getting that working uh, we're going to sort of cheat a little bit it's not really cheating it's, just, it's a feature of the game but what we're going to do is uh when it's morning here we can recall him so obviously recalling a worker means they instantly turn up right so there we go look at that quickest commute to work ever okay harrison uh so what's his request now he's still saying no time to go to sleep uh there's the work thing i was saying about and he still says there are no hives for me to work at so looks like he's not interested in this right here and i'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging uh, as to why exactly this is but uh yeah i guess i'll start on the mine college wiki and see what it says there and we'll figure this out this episode guys and by the end i will show you a working apiary okay so first suggestion i found online of how to fix this is open up the apiary uh gui go over here and you can see first of all you can toggle this if you want to collect in honey or honeycomb we'll stick with honeycomb for now and we can say get hive tool now we've got the hive tool in our hand now and i think now if i right click okay hive added successfully so that's a good oh you've reached the maximum number of hives okay yep that's fine because you have to upgrade to it oh look at this i think he's going yep through the gate sir oh he's just burnt himself on the fire that's gonna be a problem if he's doing that every time but did you just collect oh he did he's collected some honeycomb yay okay so it does work so that's what you need to do then guys right um no not that what, what was i doing so yeah so in here honeycomb or honey you can choose and get hive tool and i'm guessing if i change that to get honey uh, in fact, let's do it. Let's see, collect honey. I think now what he's going to do is say, hey, I need some glass bottles, right, instead of shears. So, um, can't sleep. Okay, we'll, we'll see if this changes, right? I think it's going to eventually, but we'll, we'll figure that out together. Either way, that's how we do this. And what we're going to do now is get to building the upgrade for this and hopefully get to level five, actually, by the end of today's episode. Slight update. We now have the apiary at level two, and uh, this is how it looks. So I just want to give little updates along the way because I do think we're going to go all the way to level five today. So I'll probably do the time. It's the progression between four and five. Uh, so build options here. As you see, there's not actually too much needed between levels apart from a bit of glass because as you saw in the end, we do end up with quite a lot of glass around this thing. Now, what I'm going to do is get it to level five and then at that point that's when i'll look to get more bees in here and we'll go on a bit of a bee hunt and that sort of thing so i'm gonna keep doing these upgrades and so you'll get time lapse in a minute as well and then we'll have it at level five so in a second we are going to do the time lapse of this level four beekeeper's hut going up to level five there's just a couple of things i wanted to mention one there's the slight issue where the bees here as you can see have managed to escape and that is really because there's no roof which there will be at level five and that won't be a problem so i'm not gonna worry about it too much but i thought i'd mention it because if you're gonna be stuck at a lower level for a while uh, you might want to put a roof on so they can't get out. Looks like they're going to come back in. And this is actually really handy because I wanted to show you this little guy right here, which is, of course, a baby bee. One of the cutest things in Minecraft. Um, but also brings me to a point that the beekeeper clearly is beading these bees as well, as there are only a couple in here, and now there are many more. So it seems the beekeeper will indeed breed the bees, and will have the baby bees uh, as a consequence of that, of course, which is pretty cool. And I just, you know, in, in an effort to try and make this an encompassing episode, thought I'd mention that. Now, all of the bees do seem to be getting angry. Now, I think what they are is angry at Harrison because there's no smoker underneath their nest and he is of course harvesting their honeycomb he's probably got some on him right now do you buddy was oh, it doing that annoying thing where I can't right click you I don't know why it does this every now and again it happens maybe it's in here though no it's not okay I don't know anyway I just thought I'd mention that um, we're gonna go ahead and do the level five and then we'll take another look at this thing at uh, once we're at that stage so I really didn't know this could happen this has never happened to me before apparently we've got two raids at the same time both coming from the northwest I am pretty terrified because <laughs> These guys are tough. They really are. It's like, as I've got more into the game and they're getting more difficult, you know, they're, they're more difficult to fight, of course. But to have two at a time is pretty insane. So we're going to have a little, like, look at this. I'm going to try and fight them. Uh, Northwest is, let's see, that way. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what we do with this. But I don't know. Maybe I'll do some little updates along the way. Wish me luck, guys. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, so once I kill this dude, I think this is the last of the barbarians. There we go. Um, so yeah, now the mummies become active. It's that you one after the other. So at least they're not at the same time, I suppose. And they do both come from the same direction. I'm so, I guess those are kind of like helpful things-ish, right? <laughs> try to try to stay positive here. Uh, so 
yeah, I guess they're going to come attack us from up here somewhere. They often take a little bit of time before they sort of get towards the town. So they're probably going to be up in the trees here somewhere. Uh, let's maybe have a little, see if we can like go head them off somewhere. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, let me see. Got the map a bit bigger here, trying to see if there's anything around. Hmm, okay, well, we'll just, I guess we'll just fight them. Um, so I guess, yeah, guys, you can have two raids coming at you at one time. Now, I'm going to do an episode at some point specifically about raids. I did the combat episode, which was about the combat infrastructure, but some better ways to fight raids than what I'm doing right here, basically, because uh, I want some better ways myself, and I'm sure that uh, some of the viewers as well would find that interesting. So that'll be an, an upcoming episode for sure. So we did successfully uh, defeat the raiders, but there was a problem, guys. We lost a citizen, and of course, it was the beekeeper <laughs> who died. Um, well, what a, actually, we lost two people but yeah just a bit annoying there so it says here david yeah we lost you uh, we got the town achievement and we also got village which means we have 50 citizens now which is very cool but yeah beekeeper harrison cox has died uh, so not only do we lose a beekeeper but now we also lose a day of work tomorrow for the builder to actually build the apiary at level five so yeah annoying times but um there we go there we go uh so i guess now we need to find a new beekeeper so let's see who's going to be the person for this job uh oh absolutely you are definitely the person for this job <laughs> Um, there we go, so we have a new beekeeper. So once the morning of that is over, we'll go ahead and uh, get the new beekeeper in and obviously get the apiary level 5 built. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to sort out the raids because I've got the army now, but what I don't have is the army actually fighting efficiently when these raiders come and it is causing problems as you guys are seeing. Whilst recording this episode, I did do a bit of a stream in between and a couple of things happened. First of all, the tavern has been upgraded to level 2. Now this is actually something you probably want to rush early game that I didn't and uh, because you'll get better citizens once you upgrade your tavern so this now has an upstairs which is very cool <laughs> all the people sat out here um, and it's not too difficult to actually do the upgrade but then you'll get citizens arriving uh, that you can hire of course for better stats so yeah you might want to do it early game because the citizen stats do have a big impact on how well they do their jobs and how quickly they do them and stuff the other thing that we did is we got the fisherman up to level five so here it is he's got his own little boat out here now actually a reasonably like sizable boat and this was actually one level too low so i've raised this up and we've got it now on the crit level for the rest of the town around this area uh, which is cool and we've like did the water here and stuff as well so yeah this was another thing we did on stream now as part of this build you can see he's taken down a bit of the wall here so i'm going to need to replace that uh which we're going to do but yeah, i just thought to keep you guys up to date with anything that's happening around the town and i think those are the two main things we did on stream that were like building differences right um so uh now i'm basically waiting for them to stop mourning the death of those two citizens so that we can upgrade the apiary and just seemed like a good time to show you the little upgrades that we did oh there was a third one and that was the warehouse which is now level two so i believe you can have two couriers per level of warehouse so now we could have potentially four we've got i think two working at the moment with a third one that's built but no one hired so we can improve this but this app now has a lot more storage before uh where these walls are here everything this side and of course from here everything this side wasn't here in terms of the racks we've got way more storage here this also has a little upstairs bit as well now so we can go up here it does doesn't seem to have much function at the moment but i don't know if maybe in some of the future levels there will be some storage up here as well either way it's looking pretty cool so there we go there's some updates on what's been happening um now this time i know i've said it but i really hope the next thing you see will be the little time lapse there of the apiary upgrade it's not gonna be a long time lapse but hey we'll have a look uh, nonetheless okay i've got to be honest guys i'm not sure if that time lapse is going to make the cut i'll have to check it back uh when i go through editing because it didn't look like the most interesting time lapse in the world to be honest um but that being said the actual level five here of the beehive or the apiary or whatever i do think he's looking very cool um so uh hello richard thank you for doing this now um what he's done then i'm guessing is let's see would you have taken down the beehive or did you just destroy it so we had like a, another beehive up here but that's gone now because it wasn't part of the schematic but you can add these beehives to this area and use the hive tools i showed you before on them but uh looks like he's yeah okay all right whatever uh, anyway so one thing we are going to do though i think is put back these trap doors because as someone pointed out on i think it was on my stream um the bees can end up in this fire pit and then they'll get hurt right and they'll take damage so that's not good so we're going to put these over the top here um now this was the one i struggled with right so i need to like like that there we go uh and then we'll just i guess we'll put this back down it's good to have lots of flowers around here don't leave the door open they'll escape uh so yeah so here is the level five now do we have why don't we have our worker here let's recall the worker there we go there we go my friend uh so this is it honeycomb production now honeycomb obviously is useful for the honey blocks and stuff as are the honey bottles but honeycomb especially uh, is good in mine colonies because your doctor will need it to cure patients so 
quite a useful little build to have and i'm really glad we have this as part of our town now just some final thoughts and information about the apiary uh first of all the number of hives you can have at a level one apiary is just one at two is two but at three is four at four is eight and at five is 16 you can have 16 beehives and nests and things in here at that stage now at the moment we've got just three in here right this one here which is the default then i've added this one and this one and we might make more than that in the future but do remember what you need to do is in fact we don't have it in here but we can go in here to get the hive tool make sure you right click them so then it will say in chat hive added success oh that was already added okay that's added as well Okay, that must have been added from before. So just make sure you do that uh, so that they get added and the worker knows to sort of go and harvest from them. Now, one unfortunate thing is if you go into the GUI here, you can see you can either choose to collect honeycomb or honey, um, but you can't do both, unfortunately. It has to be one or the other. Now, if you do switch this to honey, we tested this on stream, eventually your worker will be requesting glass bottles instead of shears. For now, we're just going to do honeycomb, so it's fine as it is, and uh, he has loads of shears, I think, anyway, uh, and there's loads in the storage. But there you have it, guys. Apri level Level five. So if you enjoyed the series, please do consider liking and subscribing. It really is greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, if you want to join the server, of course, you are able to do that. There is a link down in the description on how you can do that. But for this episode, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So the apiary in mine colonies is one of the things that I really enjoy having, even though I don't have a huge use for it. I think we will use some of the honey and honeycomb, but compared to something like the miner or the lumberjack, it is definitely less useful. But how about you guys? Do you have a building in the game that you really like, even though it doesn't really have as much use as other buildings? Let me know down in the comments if you do.